room. I'm asking other people how they found the day and this guy, that, the other girl disappeared. She didn't, I don't know, she probably escaped. She's probably escaped and the other one was just like, oh, this is with the one who's, who was wearing the suit that was hungry for this role. Was like, yeah. Hello. Hi. Welcome to my channel. So today is another story time. This one, it's funny, I can talk about it now because it's funny. So this is basically about when I left uni and I was job hunting. But it's not like all the job hunting I did, it's about one specific interview, assessment centre, whatever you want to call it, I went to it and it was quite, it was quite something, so let's just get into that story time. Ooh, okay, ah, oh, my knee. Okay, let's just get into the story. So this is basically when I finished uni, not even finished uni, finished my exam, it just hit me hard. I was like, I need to get a job now, my life is a disaster. Everyone started in September, now I'm just finishing my exam and now I'm, I'm applying for a grad scheme. So from there I was like, oh my god, the pressure's on. Everything was just intense. I was like, I'm gonna have no money, no one's gonna finance me, what am I gonna do, get a sugar daddy, like what is this, what is my life, what is it coming to, everything's just crazy. Anywho, enough about that. So, the pressure's on, I need to be financed, so I was like, I need to get a job. So I started job hunting, I went on Indeed, I went on Total Jobs, all these job platforms, and I was like, I need to find a job now. I need it now. I need, there needs to be a grad scheme because, um, I'm gonna, why, why did I go to uni? To not be a graduate? I don't get it. So I was like, I need to be a grad scheme and I need to be paid. And, yeah, so I started looking for a job. I went on Indeed. Why is my eye always leaking? So I went on Indeed, scrolling for put in like a miles because I just needed it to be in Kent for me to be happy. Put in like 16 miles, nothing above 16 miles so I can just drive, be happy in the morning, just drive to my job. So that was like one of my, one of my things or whatever. So I'm looking for this job online and then suddenly this job advert pops up to me. And I was like, oh my God, a graduate scheme and it's near and it's basically my degree on piece of paper. So I was like, rah, I want this job. <laughs> but the thing is, it's basically everything that I studied, it said you'll learn human resources, you'll learn how to manage a business, you'll learn um, everything, you know, analysis, you'll learn everything. Everything that I studied was on, on this piece of paper, but I was a little bit skeptical because it said we need you now. So that's why I thought maybe that's why the job advert is that kind of really short. Cause it was basically like, uh, but it was like some, it was like some <sighs> amateur made it. But I was thinking, oh, it's probably because they need it now and they need graduate quickly. Cause they said urgent graduate needed. So I was like, I'm your graduate and you're desperate. So <laughs> I'm gonna apply for this job. So that's what I did. Listen, let's just talk about this job description. It didn't have the name of the company, and I knew I needed to do research on the company to see if I actually want to work for the company. But I had like sort of the dress of where. I had like the location of where the company was. So I started like, it was said something like in Maystone. So I started Googling Maystone thinking, um, what companies are there? What company could this be? Blah, 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 which is ridiculous. What, the so many companies in Maystone. So I don't know where I was trying to go with that. Anywho, so yeah, I applied and they got back to me quite quickly. But the way they got back to me was a bit different, very different. I've never had that before because usually I was thinking even when they get back to me they'll email me and then I have the company name on the email that I know what to do. I can search the company. No, they text me. They send me a text saying, it was a random text saying, hi I'm, I don't remember now, I think it was like Sophia. You applied recently, I applied for our job. If you want to come for interview, text yes. Like some weird scam and I was thinking, well it's probably them. <laughs> so I texted yes and I went, ah oh, Something like, oh, thank you for blah, 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 texting, yes, blah, 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 blah. And then there was like, they said something like, the, choose the time you want to come for an interview. And then it was like, just text the time you want to come to the interview. And I was thinking, this is so strange. So I text them the time. I think I said something like one o'clock so I can be relaxed and wake up naturally and go to this interview. But I didn't know how to prepare for myself. So I just texted one o'clock. And then the interview was like, the next day. And I was like, they said the next day, like, so I was a bit like, oh, I don't even know what to do. Like, I can't prepare, but it's like, what to prepare? Do you know what I mean? What can I prepare? So, um, they text me the location now, but they didn't even text me the name of the company within the address. So, I've got the, just the address, but not the name of the company. And I'm Googling the address, <laughs> the address on um, Google to find what company it is. And I'm clicking through, and it's just telling me, it's just taking me to Maidstone High Street. It's not actually telling me, um... 
the actual address but then they gave me a door number as well then the door number it said manpower and then i was googling manpower and then it wasn't connected to that address so i was a little bit confused i think it was an old business that was there anyway i just couldn't find it there with this company so i was thinking okay let me just go to this interview oh okay my camera malfunction don't even know what i'm up to i think let's just talk about when i get the job interview basically traveling to maidstone I'm looking, trying to find this place on Google Maps. I'm following my Google Maps, finding this place. I get to this, I'm in like the high street. And then I found the place in front of me. So this was like a weird, but I don't know, like everything it was dodgy from the get go. So I find it's just like a narrow, like a flat or I don't even know what it is. It's like very narrow steps. It's like a door, I opened the door. It was really like, I didn't know if I had to ring the doorbell or anything, the door was just, <laughs> unlocked so I opened it walked up the stairs the stairs were just dark the walls are white but it was just like really dark and the steps were like <laughs> like really narrow so I had to like turn to the side and make myself up the stairs and I'm thinking oh my god what's going on there's like no noise and then suddenly I see a light at the top of the stairs and I'm thinking oh my god there's life there follow the light so I followed the light got to the top and then I was like oh, okay looked around it was quite I had like a poster this one I saw that oh yeah this is when I had a poster of a company and then it said the company's name so I thought that's the company um I applied to I was like ah right now there's a name or whatever so I walk I go and I'm like oh hi I'm here for an interview today and she's like oh what's your name I knew even when I looked at her she looked about 16 or something so I was like right okay and she was just like oh, okay yeah just sit she was quite polite she's like oh yeah just sit down there and someone will be with you I let them know I let the person know that you're here for the interview so I'm sitting down on this chair and I'm just looking around and everything is just just I don't know it was weird or like kind of renovating so I was thinking okay whatever they had nice floors though but the chair itself was just dodgy everything was just weird it looked like a sofa bed a bit so I'm just sitting there and I'm just waiting and then this man comes and he's like oh hi Nana I'm blah 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 introduced himself and let's just go for the interview she's like don't worry about today this is just me telling you about the company and so and so I was thinking wow maybe that's what didn't that's why they didn't say anything about the company maybe they didn't I don't know now I'm just finding out about the company so I was thinking good weight lifted on my shoulder I don't have to like recite anything about a company so we went and sat down he took me to this room and this room was the smallest room I've ever seen <laughs> like basically I don't even know what they were trying to do with this room think about Harry Potter where he sleeps and you know the stairs was minus that times two so it was like really like small it had like a little computer there and he had like a chair and he put a chair next to him I'm thinking how are we both gonna fit in this room and then we're sitting there and he shuts the door and I'm like right okay it's a bit claustrophobic in here but then same thing and he's like oh so I'm just going to tell you about a company who we are who's really polite a company who we are who's really passionate as well who we are and so so, so don't worry about it I'm just going to tell you about this company it's not really like it's a really relaxed interview so I was like okay cool so he's doing do this little powerpoint thing just talking about marketing like numbers direct marketing and stuff like that and I was seeing him okay cool and then clicking through telling me about the company he didn't really ask me questions and then he would be like oh what's your strengths and he i told him my strengths oh that's really good that's a really good like really passionate like well done and i was just like yeah okay <laughs> like and he's going on and then i started asking him a question about the company and he wouldn't answer me and i was thinking what and he's going that's for the next stage that's a sort of question that we would answer in the next stage if you get into the next stage you'll know if you get in the next stage by 6 p.m tonight and i was like okay cool <laughs> like i think it was just a basic question i don't even know what question it was but it wasn't a heavy question and then um, we he keeps going through his interview if he keeps going through the um powerpoint he doesn't even ask me questions about myself so i was like okay this is a all right interview I don't know what to think about it and then we get to the end and he goes any questions and I went to ask him questions again he went oh no that's not a question you would ask that's a, that's a question you can only ask when you get in. we will answer that if you get into the second stage and I was like right okay so he was like oh, it was nice meeting you today and I was like it was nice meeting you too so it's over now I'll go home now and I'm thinking oh I wonder if I got into the second stage I was a little bit still excited about it because he still presented it as the job um description basically what I've learned at uni is basically what I'm going to be doing and I was quite excited about that I get into the next so that was in my mind I was thinking oh, okay I just want this job because everything I learned I can apply it to this role 
holistically basically and then um yeah so i go home i'm asleep i took a nap because i was still like kind of like I don't know, stressed or whatever. I get around 6 p.m. I get a call and he was like, Nana, this is blah blah blah. You've made it to the second round of the interview. And I was thinking, all right. So, and then I was like, okay, cool. And everything was quite quick from when I applied to when they told me to come in. So that's a red flag anyway, because it's like they're letting anyone in. And now they're telling me, yeah, you just have to come in tomorrow. Make sure you wear flat shoes. And I was thinking, flat shoes, that's weird, that's a bit weird. Dressed like a business wear, but make sure you wear flat shoes. And I was like, okay. And we, we'll tell you about the day tomorrow. We'll tell you all the plan tomorrow when you come. Ooh, weird camera. So it was the next day now, they told me to come in. Everything was quite quick, like from applying to, I think the next day they asked me to come into the first interview. And then on that day, they're telling me to come to this next interview. Um, so I think that might might be a red flag because it's like they're taking everyone or anyone. But um, I went anyway and I was quite excited because I felt like everything they've said on the job description is basically... All the job, although the job description was short, I felt like this is a bit of me because everything I studied at uni, this is what it is. Catfish. <laughs> but anywho. So I go for this into I'll go for this process. They told me wear flat shoes so I don't know that's all that that's all the information they told me on the phone before on the phone the night before so I was just thinking okay and they told me it's going to be a working day hours from so they're saying you'll start you come here at 10 and then you finish up a normal working day so they're not telling me the hours I'm going to be there they kept saying normal working day so I'm thinking normal working day is 9 to 5 all right so it's an assessment and I'm going to be there for a while they're going to make me do because he said flat shoes he emphasized on that I was thinking and flat shoes, comfortable shoes, I was thinking, okay, we're gonna be doing some team exercising, maybe we're gonna be doing some physical team exercises there, that's why they want me to be comfortable and stuff like that. But no, it wasn't like that. I had no idea what I was gonna go into. So I come in the next day, I'm a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, because I didn't know what to expect. All I heard was, all oh, they told me is bring your flat shoes, and it's gonna be a normal working day. So I was like, okay, I thought it was going to, or maybe I'm going to do some shadowing or stuff like that. So I was thinking, okay, I'll come in. And he was like, hi, I'm so glad you made it, blah, 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 blah. And then suddenly um, he gave me a form to film and he kept saying, you need to know, you need to understand that you can leave any time during the day. You can leave any time during the process. He kept emphasising that and I was just thinking, okay <laughs> like okay I, I don't know why he said that because i can leave i understand um we're just chilling here and he just kept saying you can leave you need to understand and when you sign this you know that you can leave whenever you want and i was thinking all right then so i signed a piece of paper and then suddenly these this girl uh, that people those there were other people there as well there was me this other girl and this guy and this guy he's like dressed in the suit and he looks real smart so it's like he he was hungry for this job as well and there was another girl who was kind of shy and whatever so we're just there we're waiting and they get partnered up and leave and i'm the only one sitting there still and then suddenly my my girl my this girl comes and she's my she's the one who's like looking after me for the day or whatever and she's also training someone else so i was thinking wow what's going on and then they're like and i was thinking where are they going because they took them away and they went out and because they went out i thought they had another building because i was thinking there's a lot of people in this room so maybe in there's, there's like a separate room where there's a lot of noise that are chatting they're ringing bells because someone hit their target so there's a vast amount of people there and then suddenly they're all left so I was thinking, oh, maybe they have like a different building where they work because that building is very small. So I was thinking that's probably it. Maybe that's where they have their meetings and then they go off to like the little offices or something. But that's not the case. So they all started leaving and I was like, where are they going? And they went, oh, they're just going to do their routine. They didn't tell me what they're doing. They're going to do the routine. So I was like, okay, cool. I don't know what the routine is, but okay. Okay, let's pretend that my eyes not leaking and acting all funny. So yeah, so enough about their all routine my brother's doing so let's talk about this girl so this girl my partner who was uh, whoever's looking after me so when i first see her it was even strange and i was like oh okay she's like i don't know i just smiled at her <laughs> and she was just looking at me like and i was like cool whatever and i was just like but i just continue smiling because it's the interview i'm not gonna do all weird like what that's strange or 
hold on about it she's like oh just come with me and we're gonna go for I'm gonna be looking after you blah 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 so I follow her and we're leaving the building and I'm thinking where are we actually going like where are we actually going and then she's not talking to me she's talking to this other person that she's training and they're just talking and laughing and it's kind of like I'm like it's like as if I'm the third wheel behind them just following them and then they get to this car park and I'm like yo where are we actually going and then like I'm still thinking like we'd, maybe we're going to drive to this next building because I still see the people that came from that room where the, all the chanting was happening like walking about so I thought I'm thinking maybe they're all getting into car to go into the building that's somewhere else I don't know so I, I suddenly so we kept we got to the car park we sat in the car and then um I sat in the front and then suddenly more people came and sat in the back and then I was like what is going on and then we're driving and then she's like she starts, now she just starts to speak, I guess now she just starts to speak to me, but she's keeping the short, she just goes, oh, what uni? What, did you study at uni? And I told her, business management, and she's like, oh, I studied law. And I was thinking, okay, cool. And then she stops talking to me, and then she starts talking to people behind again. And we're just driving, and then I'm just thinking, where are we actually going? Like, but she's like busy speaking to the people behind me, it's like I can't interrupt and be like, uh, where are we going? So we're driving, and I'm thinking, she's been talking to the people behind me for, a long time now and I see that we're going around this roundabout we're on this motorway and I'm thinking where are we going like I thought we were just going to a different building to do some team building exercises or something and then we're just driving we're just driving and she's like you need to make notes of everything I'm saying and I was thinking you haven't even said anything to me I don't understand and then she starts talking now she starts talking about businesses have you heard she starts talking about marketing did you know that um this is how much money you make when you do direct marketing and did you know this is how much coverage it gets when you actually do direct marketing it's more effective do you know how much it and then she starts talking about different first before she says that she tells me figures for mass marketing from television until you do direct marketing and then she's like do you know what direct marketing is like telephoning going to the consumer and i was thinking yeah okay and then she switches up stops talking about that and then goes have you heard about what's going on in the news and i'm like what's going on in the news and then she starts going oh yeah about what the um what they're doing to the consumers these big gas companies they're cheating the consumers basically they're selling the same gas this is the same gas but they have so many different prices they're overcharging the consumer and it's just ridiculous and i'm like oh yeah that's not good do you know what i mean because i didn't even know what the business still did because from that previous interview he's not telling me what they actually did he's just telling me from that in from the first interview who's just telling me showing me different who's showing me who they work with who's not telling me what they actually do so i'm just thinking why is she telling me this sort of thing and i'm thinking okay that's not good is it I don't, it's not good that they're cheating the consumer blah 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 and um she was like yeah make sure you write that down on your notes and i'm thinking okay um, we're driving now and this time now I'm getting more sceptical because we're going over a bridge I didn't know there's other bridges out there apart from Darfur Duke Bridge so I'm like where are we going and then she was like oh so this is basically Isle of Sheppey and I was thinking we're going to an aisle like what what is going on and then like, she's driving she's driving she drops this person off and then she starts talking about all the figures he can make from this so she's now she's trying to sell me the position and I'm like I don't even know what the position is and so on and then now she's telling me did you know that when you do this we have different stages of this from the first stage um you, this is a scheme it's like a graduate program we like to fast track you and I was thinking okay that's good that's cool it's very fast so this is like an eight month you're looking at an eight to twelve month program usually graduate programs are two years but this is going to be like an eight to twelve month and what we like about this company is how much you can progress and I was thinking okay that's cool progression sounds good to me yeah progression and money and you're going to be looking at being your own manager having your own branch from this program and I was thinking yeah that's that sounds that sounds good this is a bit this is what I want for uni for yay so about that, that and she's still driving and we're going over like turning around going all these places and dropping the other few people off and I'm thinking where they're actually going it's like she was distracting me from what's going on she's going to this residential side dropping them off and then telling me about how much money you can make on this course she's thinking and she's gone from the first two weeks you're looking at making 300 pounds a week and I was thinking 
300 pounds and then I didn't know how long the long working day was as well and I was thinking okay cool but when you get to this stage you're looking at making 1,500 pounds a week how does that sound to you and actually kept saying all these things and going how does that sound to you that proper selling and I think that sounds amazing that's what I went uni for making 1,500 pounds a week and I was thinking cool and then suddenly it's just me and the person who she's going to be training for there. And she's like, he's going to become with her because I'm training him. And I was thinking, okay. And then we're like, we're at this place, like a residential, like an estate. Proper nice little estate. And then I was thinking, she's still not telling me what we're doing. She's like, bring your notepad. She's just gone, we parked in this corner. She's like, bring your notepad. And I was thinking, okay. I'm still a little bit confused about us being here because I don't understand what we're doing here. She's like, bring your notepad. Come with me. This is what we're going to be doing. And I'm like following them. She's not telling me, describing what she's doing. She's following them. Then she goes and knock on someone's door. And I'm like, oh, why is she knocking on someone's door? Like, now I'm a bit scared. I'm like, she's driven me here. Now she's going to knock while we're going into this person's house. Or what we're doing. Like, she knocks on this person's door. And then she's going, oh, have you heard about what's going on in the news? And I was going, I was just chilling there like, what? And she's like, yeah, we just want to make sure, how, and then the person's also confused, knocking on the door, like, what's going on in the news? And she's gone, oh, we just want to make sure that you're not paying too much for your gas. So this is, like, basically direct marketing, knocking on the door, knocking on people's door. And I'm just thinking, I'm just hella confused now, I'm like, what is going on? And I was thinking, no, you basically catfished me, we're here to knock on people's doors to try and get their prices down and their price comparison and then she's, she gets on her little iPad, gets little price comparisons down and then um, starts doing these things on her iPad and then goes to them, oh so you could actually be saving this much money and then blah blah blah, are you interested? Some people were actually interested but I was thinking, this is mad, are you telling me I'm here to come and knock on people's doors? What? What? So then I was just thinking, rah, okay, I want to leave. <laughs> that was my thought, but I didn't know what to say because I don't even know where I was. I was like, where am I? How am I going to get back to where we were? Like, sort of thing. So, and then she even, we was going through the day and then she's going, tell me all your strengths. I need you to know, I need to know your goals. And then she's gone, first tell me your strengths. I need to write down in a little notepad, 15 of your strengths. I'm thinking, 15 of your strengths? 15 of my strengths, I can't think, I'm still confused about everything's going on, I can't think of 15 strengths in my head to write down the thing, she's gone, are you done yet? It's been like one minute and I was thinking, are you done, this girl's crazy, and she's like, you're taking too long, and I was like, this girl's crazy, and she's still knocking on people's door, and she's still training another person, and I was just thinking, I don't like her attitude, <laughs> and I don't like, I don't like where we are, I don't like what this is, she's knocking on people's door, we're still going around, and then it was a big, big, a big, like, estate, place even like I wonder even what the people were thinking because this is some next place like I was just imagining me doing this by myself like going to some next place in Kent where there's like deep in Kent when they're like diversity is scarce imagine me going and knocking on someone's door little like some black girl come and knock on the door to probably think like I'm about to come and like I don't know they'll probably kidnap me kill me and then tell the police I tried to break in like some crazy thing like that so I was just imagining that and I was thinking I just, I just want to go home and the day is going so long and she's like alright we've finished the first round and we're going to go for lunch and this that round now was knocking on the doors for so long probably like three hours it was just a big place and then she's gone um, alright we're going to go for lunch now and then she's still giving me all these facts, all this information. And I'm just thinking, I want to leave this place. And then she kept saying to me, you need to understand that you can leave when you want. And I was thinking, how am I supposed to leave? You drove me here. What, are you going to drive me back to Maidstone? And you can tell from her the way she's behaving. Even from knocking on the doors, talking to the consumer, she had a bit of like an attitude. Like, we knocked on this one door. What I don't... We knocked on this one door. And then she, she was like, what are you trying to sell me? Blah, 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 blah. Knocked on the other door someone literally screamed i think that this part this man all you can hear is this man screaming fuck off blah blah blah, blah. and i'm just thinking so this is what you want me to come and do i, I left the beginning to come and knock on someone's door for someone to scream at me like it was just a bit like for someone someone's gonna act like that like you're going to people's houses do you know what i mean to disturb them they're chilling and you're like coming and like harassing them but the way she was acting like even, say she's knocking on someone's door and someone answers 
the way she'd look at them or, or like when they close the door for five seconds the way she'd start bitching about them I was just like you know they just they can probably hear what you're saying so I just felt a bit uncomfortable and like I feel like someone's gonna hurt us sort of thing <laughs> can you like if you're gonna bitch at least whisper it at least whisper it calmly but anywho um yeah so it came to lunchtime now and we're going to this little Morrison's part and she's like oh do you want anything oh it's on me blah blah blah, blah. it's on us and then I just felt so awkward and I wanted to leave them so it's about 3-4 and the lunch was like 10 minutes and then she was like the, the, even then I thought we was going to go back to where we were I thought that was a little taster of what to experience when working for them but it wasn't we went back to the rounds I didn't I couldn't I lost when she said lunch was on me I lost my appetite I just I just didn't want to be there anymore and then she was like okay we're going to go oh fuck the same eye oh my eyes man yeah so I lost my appetite I was like I didn't want to eat I just wouldn't go home and I don't know how to leave the situation I don't know how to I don't know where I am how am I supposed to call taxi and tell them where I am I don't know where I am but I want to leave but I can't and I'm like okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna whatever like go through it so we get back to, I thought we was going to go back to Vaidsan but no we go back to the housing place because this housing thing is massive and apparently we have to knock on every door because she had this little paper that she was ticking and oh she's mad we're knocking again and this time someone and then she's gone oh my she's gone to someone oh can we have can I have a glass of water please and then like they was interested in it they let her in and then she was like oh are you coming too and I was thinking I don't want to go into this stranger's house like what is going on so I'll go in as well <laughs> But this guy, he stays out because they thought they said it's a bit weird if all three of us go in or something like that. So that's like you just stay out or whatever. So we go in, we're sitting there, and um, yeah, and we're sitting there. She's drinking a glass of water. She's like, Can I use your toilet as well? And I was just thinking, thinking Well, so you want this to be my life? You want this to be my life? This is not my life. Like, and I even felt uncomfortable in this house. I felt uncomfortable anyway. I just wanted to go back, and then um, we get we keep doing the rounds some people did actually sign up which was quite good but I was just a bit like this is not what I came in for and I was thinking you studied law you went to, you did law to come knock on people's doors and then it was a really like cat scheme catfish scheme she was basically telling me all these different levels of now you're gonna have your own branch and she's telling me that this is her last week that she's gonna move to Australia to go and open a branch and I was thinking so you're telling me and on that level, you're making 1,500 a week or whatever. Like, everything was just a lie. Like, you're telling me, you're telling me now, you're making 1,500 a week. Like, do you know what I mean from knocking on people's doors? So you're opening this branch in Australia to go and knock on people's doors. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, it just did not make sense to me. It was basically a catfish lie. But anywho, even like, how you saying that with confidence? Even like, even the car we, was like a little car she had. It was just like... It was like some next 1908 Ford, like, do you know what I mean? It was just like, everything was just a lie. Your, your story's not calculating to me. It's not making sense, you know? So, anywho, about that, yeah. So, we're doing our rounds again, and this time it's getting dark outside. It's getting, like, eight-ish. And I was thinking, wow, are we actually going to go back? So, she's like, okay, we're finished our rounds now. We'll find the car back, and we're driving back to Maidstone. And I was thinking thank god for this and then we go and then she will you need to make this noise we're gonna give you a test at the end and then she starts telling me this test and answers test, question and answers question and answers question and answers and i'm like why didn't you tell me this from the beginning if you really wanted me to do well on this test blah 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 i would have wrote it down and then revised it do you know what i mean so we get back to Maidstone and I'm thinking, thank God, I need to think of how I can escape this place. And like, I couldn't even escape. Like, we get to the car park. They had like a, like a car park thing. We get there and they're like, okay. We start walking back and everyone's like walking back to the, um, to like the little office thing that we was in the first place. So I'm thinking, how can I leave? And I couldn't leave. So I was thinking, okay, it was too obvious if I just like left and I just wanted to just move and leave. My goodness, so we get, and my mum's phoning me because it's 8 o'clock, my mum's like, my child has been gone since 10, it's 8 now, and my mum's texting me in front of me, but I couldn't go to my phone and start texting and stuff, so we get into the office part, and that like, there's lots of people going on, and because I was doing the little chart in office thing, we were sitting there, and me and the other people that interviewed, we saw each other again, and they were sitting there, and they have gone, oh, just revise all your questions, so we're going to have another interview in the end, and then um, they're making all this noise in this room, 
I'm asking other people how they found the day and this guy, that, the other girl disappeared. She didn't, I don't know, she probably escaped. <sighs> She's probably escaped and the other one was just like, oh, this is the one who's, who was wearing the suit that was hungry for this role. I was like, yeah, it was really good. I had a really good day, I did. Blah, 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 blah. I was thinking, oh, rah, what the hell? Like, you fall in for this, but I didn't say that because I don't want to be negative. I was thinking, if this is a bit of you, it's a bit of you. I'm not trying to shit on you. So um, I was thinking, oh, okay. Um, so I was just looking at these, like my notes were, but I then, and then the girls come, she's like, yeah, it's time for your test now. This is your test, gave me a piece of paper. I purposely started to botch things up and when they left, I tried, I wanted to leave, <laughs> like I didn't know how to leave. And then I was filling up this paper and now it's like around nine o'clock and I'm thinking, my phone, my mum kept ringing me, my sister kept texting me like, where are you, blah, 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 blah. And I've just gone like, I couldn't answer it, but I could just hear it vibrating. Um, so I'm filling out this piece of paper, I'm personally asking the questions wrong, like and not filling it and then writing, I don't know, like being stupid on the piece of paper. I just wanted to leave. And then um, I was trying to finish the paper and then like, I was trying to just fill it out and then sort of leave. Um, but then um, she kept coming in and out to keep looking so I couldn't like escape. <laughs> and then um, it comes to giving in the piece of paper and then she went okay we're just gonna go and mark it we're gonna be with you in like five minutes and someone else is gonna go one of the managers is gonna come and interview you and so it comes to the interview stage now it's probably like 10 o'clock <laughs> it comes to and my phone is ringing it comes to the interview stage i go into the interview room and this is like in the little kitchen and i was thinking what, what is this and he's put like a chair there there's a kitchen and there's like a washing machine i just don't understand the concept of this room i was like what is this what is this place and he's sitting on the chair and he was like, how did you think your day went? And this guy, I'm telling you, he looked about 12. I was thinking, what? And he's wearing a suit. And then, like, I was just thinking, what is this mess? Like, what is this? And he's telling me, how did you think? And he's the manager as well. And he's like, how do you think this day went? How do you think the interview went? And I think, I think it was all right, yeah. <laughs> like, and I'm looking at your test and he's like, you did all right on the test. And I was thinking... You're such a liar. Like, what's wrong with you? You did all right on the test. Yeah, she did well. We had a bit of ups and downs. I said you were a bit shy. You don't like to talk a lot. But we want you. We want you to be with us. I see with you. When I first started, I was just like you. And I was just like, I was just like you. I was shy. But you went to your beauty. That shows that you have dedication. Blah, 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 blah. And we want you. How about that? How do you like this job? And then when this, when he was saying that, the girl came in as well. And I was thinking, oh. Like, because of her, actually, I didn't want to start fighting anything. I was like, oh, yeah. I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll come. And then when, and he goes to me, you start tomorrow. Tomorrow's your first day. And then the girl goes to me, just come in tomorrow with all your paperwork, all your documents. And then the girl gives me this book. And she went, this is the information, all you need to know about this company. You need to read this by tomorrow. I was thinking, it's like half ten now and you want me to read this and then come in for a dime. I was thinking that when I didn't say anything. And then they offered me the job. I shook the hands and I was thinking rah I don't know what to do and I was thinking I had so much emotions going through my head and I was thinking is this my life is this what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to knock on door I went to units to come knock on doors I drove home I get to my car oh, my parking oh my god I get to my car yeah and I had to pay nine pounds for parking all day and I was thinking this is my life now I start driving home and I just burst start crying. I was like, oh my god, this and I've been off for the job, blah, blah, blah. I'm crying all the way home. I get home and I'm like, mum, they offered me the job. And I just burst out crying. She's like, why crying? I was like, I don't want it. I don't want to go. And then um, I just burst out crying. And then she was like, this, this, this how they text me through the interview person. I just texted the girl and went, yeah, just speak to my family about the job. Thank you for the offer, I don't want it. She didn't even text back. I knew she wouldn't text back. I was scared to text her. I was thinking, this girl's going to call me and like attack me. Yeah, because when I was driving home, she kept calling me as well. And I was thinking, why is she calling me? I just I just left it. Um, yeah, so then I got home, cried, told my mum, don't want it, text her, I don't want a job. And then I went on holiday for two weeks and I was, I was refreshed. And then looking for a graduate job was a nightmare. I went to a different phase of looking for graduate ways, but took... A vast amount of months, but that's another story. But thank you for listening to my long ass story until next time.